nurses originally found it difficult to access the PPE they needed to keep themselves, clinic staff and their patients safe. But as PPEs become more available, they've been able to not only adapt how they work within their clinics to maintain uh, appropriate levels of safety and infection control, but also to make sure the health needs of patients have been met and the introduction of telehealth has further enhanced their ability to do that. The Australian government made the right call with uh, enabling nurses by extending services for chronic disease patients um, to be provided by general practice nurses. These changes have the potential to put a nurse into the home of every Australian with a chronic disease. And this has been great news for patients with conditions like diabetes and heart disease who are staying at home for fear of contracting the coronavirus. It means that nurses they know and that they trust are able to reach out and provide monitoring and support as part of the practice team. And this is critical for patient safety. We can't afford to have a second wave of disease sweep through Australia from chronic disease after we've actually managed to um, get past the COVID-19 pandemic. So telehealth has been a great addition. It's an important step forward for the treatment of vulnerable patients and their monitoring during this time, but it's also a great opportunity for us to explore how telehealth can actually improve broader chronic disease care in Australia post the pandemic as well. Um, well, I live in Millsfield. It's um, in Hunter Valley, New South Wales. And I've, since I was um, been going to all these appointments, my wife's driven me and, you know, from Cessnock to Sydney for most of my other appointments. I'm able to provide Lee with quite a lot of support, actually, and not just Lee, his family as well. So um, he is managed by a team in Sydney. And that's quite difficult sometimes. The team, he doesn't need, he doesn't want or is able to travel to Sydney all the time. So I liaise with the um, the nurse at the cancer centre down in Sydney so that, you know, if she needs, one day she needed um, his oxygen levels done. It was silly to go all the way to Sydney to have oxygen levels done and come back home. So it was just easy for him to pop in here. I did his oxygen levels. Well, particularly since the COVID-19 came along. It's um, been probably since that started, really. Um, and, well, the benefits, obviously, for me were um, because I was high risk having stage four cancer, um, not allowed to catch the COVID-19. It could have been pretty risky. So, um, yeah, that was um, been going on since that has been about two or three months, I guess. And, yeah, the advantages are, well, not having to travel to Sydney was handy, but... Um, also, just to stay healthy, yeah, I've been pretty well housebound for the last five, six months. So that's some of the things that we do. Just um, wound checks, um, making sure his medication's okay. Providing emotional and social support for his family has been very important too. Um, they've been on a roller coaster ride for the last few months and they weren't expecting him to survive at one point. So being able to have someone to touch base with and just provide reassurance and TLC has been really important and they've really appreciated it. Well, from infection control to flu clinics, practices need a nurse now and they need them more than ever as part of their general practice team. There are so many ways that nurses contribute to the healthcare team and some of them are risk uh, identification, screening, triage, implementing and overseeing quality and infection control procedures, coordinating flu clinics and ensuring the safety of staff and patients, but also care planning and identifying and contacting at-risk patients, recalling them and ensuring their ongoing care. And beyond that, we know that nurses are highly educated. And in the case of general practice nurses, they're usually very experienced, usually with about 21 years of nursing experience and about 11 years of general practice experience specifically. Nurses can be immunizers, educators, wound managers, health promoters, patient advocates, and so much more. And when they're working to their full scope of practice, they free up doctors for additional consultations and more complex presentations. So a nurse working to their full scope of practice can enable a doctor to work to the highest form of their practice. We've wanted to keep our patients safe. We've wanted to keep them at home, yet we still want to provide them with, you know, quality care, which is, it, it's, it's very challenging. So getting everybody vaccinated against influenza this year presented quite a lot of challenges. Being able to get, you know, people in without having big groups, maintaining social distance and making sure that we had the best possible infection control was a huge challenge. But we managed to vaccinate about a 1,000 people in the last 
three weeks. So I think we've done pretty well there. Well, Catherine would call us and, and, and you know, schedule appointments and say, you know, you need to, well, for instance, we've got a, I've got a flu shop coming up and, you know, they're keeping on top of it. But, you know, Catherine as a nurse has just been great because she's just keeping an eye on everything. Mm-hmm.